Like I see the pups wandering out of the den right now. We are losing this battle. Welcome back to another Wolf Quest episode with Roach. Hopefully the last episode, hopefully we'll be wrapping up here very soon in the first few minutes of this video, assuming Katie did <laughs> territory. Okay, I'm going on a territory quest right this instant, but first let's just quickly check on the pups. Uh, Tarantula, who just recovered. Uh, Cicada, who also just recovered. Um... And Katie did, who is 19.2 pounds. This is a territory quest. First thing, uh, affinity could use some strengthening. I think we just got attacked, if I remember correctly. So we shouldn't be due for another. Uh, they have food, apparently. We'll do a howl. Wait, where's... Hello? Bug? Bug left. Bug probably is strengthening territory. His entire beautiful territory ruined just like that. With so many puffers, it's been so hard to juggle having a huge territory. He needs a huge territory for the size that his large pack is going to be while at the same time. He also needs to spend far more time with his puffs because of how many there are. And yet the other packs knowing I guess hearing his tiny pups howls, all seven of them in the distance, they really are pushing in on all sides and testing Roach in every single direction. Wasting my time. Okay, it's been here all along. Barely even noticed. Okay. If I do this correctly, Roach can eat the mule deer fawn. Eh! <laughs> it's fine. It's going well. Okay. Nah. <laughs> okay. Then the pups get this. Where's the rendezvous site? This way. Okay, we have a bit of a buffer. It's still not looking good, though. Ugh, he had such a big territory at one time before his pups got sick, and now it's just so hard to reclaim any of it. Hello, Bug. Thank you for coming. You did go to the children. Good job. Okay, can we all just take... consolidate the children in one area? <laughs> wow, Bug, look at where they've been! Okay, this grass patch is my favorite grass patch. We're gonna, uh... Bark. All you puppers get over here. Especially you, Katie, did. You're the one holding everybody back, aren't you? As I pick up Cicada. Talk to Cicada. Okay, let's do some family howls. Okay. Okay. We got some affinity back. Going to... Hopefully this will be the last sleep. I'm really hoping so. See how this goes. I'm scared. I want to call them out of the grass and have actually a good family screenshot, but I don't... I don't know if that's gonna happen. Yeah, Katie did good hit. 20... any second? Check again. Not quite. I also really don't want to lose any puppers. If an attack doesn't start right away... Let's see how close. Okay. I'm gonna call them out. I'm gonna take that risk. I'm afraid. Ok, 
Come here, ladybug. Hello? Child? <laughs> Oh, cicada! Prey sense, right? All the prey sense. I can't see over this. What? Flee? This flee! Flee! This is not. <laughs> and flee was the first to disperse. Yep. What is that? Okay, just checking the area with flee. All right, come on. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta grow up, pups. You had no reason to do that, you traitorous child. I don't think this is the grass patch that I like, actually. I don't like any of them, actually. None of these are good options. Katie did. Stop wandering around like your dad. Flee. I see you. Get out. Get out. Fools. You will not be forgiven. Okay, but the pups are still out of the grass. <laughs> Run back. Okay, are we safe now? Slug. Okay, you were just going over there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. So much bulk recording of Wolf Quest, and I'm ready for anything, I think. Don't quote me on that. Watch a back to back attack happen, and I'm just not prepared. <laughs> Okay, I'm so good at this game, and now I'm ready to try accurate. Totally. Definitely. Slug, my favorite child. What? I, I'm not picking favorites, what? Good thing I barked. That was actually extremely helpful to get the pups over closer to the grass. So glad that is a feature. Saves me so much time. Alright, are we gonna grow up or what? I don't want anything bad to- okay, well. Here goes nothing. We're sleeping, we're gonna immediately call them out of- no, we're gonna have dreams. And not be able to call them out of the grass. This is unfortunate. I'm sorry, the territory. Oh goodness. I'm either gonna call them out of the grass or I'm gonna woof them into the grass. Ah, I missed it! Ah. Well, technically they're out now. Look at them all! Look at them all! Seven puppers! Successfully grown, tarantula and flea, I see you leaving. Okay. Bark. Alright, you're all now immortal. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> okay, go in the grass. I'm gonna check on the state of territory. And actually, I was going to have Roach move, but it's looking like we don't need to. Oh, he's gonna fix that territory though. That howl in the distance is probably Beetle. Unless, where did Bug go? Eh, it's probably Beetle. <laughs> Almost a little bit sad. 
I mean, I'm so happy that all seven puppers made it. That is amazing. That is so good for Roach's storyline. But also, if he had lost a single pup, or a couple of pups even, to rival wolves or anything, I think that it would have been such an interesting story element to work with, with how how his character arc kind of played out and how like he lost his dad to rivals he blames himself but he put all of that blame off on Beetle and now there's not really anything that drives him to realize that um there's no like grief or understanding of how hard it is to be a parent. I mean, technically seven puppers is probably enough to drive any wolf crazy and convince them that parenting is really rough. And not all story elements have to come from a place of grief. I just think it would have been... Hi, bear. I just think it would have been interesting to work with. But, thankfully, I did not get that opportunity. So, I'm gonna have to work with what I have. And yeah, this is probably actually the final... The final... episode of For the Love of a Family. And probably in the coming weeks. This is why I've been bulk recording, is so that I can... Um, write the finale and record it with some help. Okay, so there's a really, like, rough, I, I say, as I strengthen them all to 100% painstakingly, there's just a rough patch fix of the territory, even though it's not really going to matter for very much longer. I'm going to go meet up with B now, if I can, some of these hexes. B actually got some of these all by herself. It was significantly slower, but it was rather helpful, other than Affinity. Affinity is going to be a problem here shortly. That is an extremely strange direction for them to be howling in purple wolves, Van Winkle. I'm pretty sure they're in my territory, but I don't have time to care. Excuse me. Children, if you come over here, there might just be snacks. Not very many, though. Yeah. Tarantula. Tarantula, you're going in the direction of danger. Ha! Ah. Tarantula. Where's the danger? Please go in the grass, child. I don't see... Ah. Oh! Why? No, why? No, why? <laughs> you don't know how much this looks like Beetle and Bee right now. Okay, that does not look a lot like Bee, actually. Who do you think you are, fool? Ah, uh, no. This breaks my heart. It's not them. It can't be them. <laughs> no, you're not winning. You are, in fact, losing. I think I see the pups wandering out of the den right now. We are losing this battle. Ladybug. Ladybug, don't go near- Ah! It's over. No, Ladybug is fine. Ladybug is fine. The attack hasn't even happened yet. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh no, I don't like this. Ah, uh, no. How do I even reverse this outcome? How do I even reverse this outcome? Bug help. Bug, please help. We're exhausted, there's just no way. I don't know what to do. Will you please go away? Ow. These are the most aggressive and rude wolves. Get out. Seriously give up. <sighs> I don't I don't think I've ever been so stressed in my entire life. I am sleeping this instant. Ladybug. That is not a good way to end, please. Okay. Okay, here's your food. Here's your pizza. Make sure you share. Bug, 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 bug. No, 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 no. Hey. Stop, bug. Did you eat that? Entire. No! -ho! Okay, I thought I said go in the grass, though, child. I cannot get them all in the same... I cannot get them all in the same shot. I can't get a thumbnail this way. Wait, let's go over by the food. That's a good idea, bug. She ate just enough to feed them. Slug, are you coming over here or not? Please do. There's food. I'm telling you, there's food. They don't care. They literally could not care less. I can't get them all in one big family screenshot. This is pathetic. Ah! Ah! I hate this! Ah. Yeah! This is just... all the danger. Why? Really bad timing, bear. Be careful. Good. Okay, with that, I'm just gonna cut to the final, final scene that I will record in a couple of days here. Um, yeah. Gonna cut to the end. I hope you enjoy whatever I've <laughs> come up with by this point. Uh, we'll have the pup reveal soon. Um, I haven't even decided if I'm going to play one of Roach's pups and one of Beetle's pups or a new wolf yet. I really can't decide. The vote tied and I was going to do one new wolf and then one from Beetle or Roach's litters, but I kind of don't want to do that. I kind of want to do either... I can always do the new wolf in the future, maybe alongside Snekin? That might actually be a better idea. I don't know. I'll think about it. So we might have... we'll definitely have a poll for Roach's pups. We might not have a poll for Beetle's pups, but we'll see. And we'll see how the story ends. So I hope you enjoy. 
Roach wakes to a familiar howl in the distance, sounding closer than usual. Calling his pups out of the grass, he realizes that Ladybug is missing, and the memory comes back to him like a violent wave. He hadn't managed to save her, but in his denial he had dreamt up a different outcome in his head. He lets out a distressed whine, the guilt and grief from long ago settling heavily in his stomach once again. This was a feeling he had run from for so long, distanced himself from as much as possible, and now it was back, and there was no one to blame but himself. He sends the pups back into the grass, telling Bug to stay with them. She faces him with silent concern. He simply promises to return soon, telling her that there's something important he needs to do. His wandering paws carry him towards the distant howls of his brother, unsure whether he would find comfort there, or if seeing Beetle again would only worsen his guilt. But he does know that the weight he had been carrying, a weight which he had tried to place on his brother, was now twice as heavy as before. Roach approaches the river, not surprised to see Beetle standing there, but a little curious as to why his brother stood there now. Beetle, with gaze lowered in a submissive stance, speaks first. You came. I didn't expect you to show up. I've missed you so much, brother. Roach doesn't respond, staring blankly. Beetle feels unease creep through him, and stutters. I understand now, why you left. You were right, I was weak, and I needed to be on my own to figure out how to be strong. Not only for myself, but for my family. I never knew what it was to protect a family at any cost until now. I'm so sorry for wandering off and putting everyone in danger but I can't stand the distance between us anymore. We need now, more than ever, to be on the same side, for the strength of our pack and for the future of our pups. Please, forgive me. Roach snarls, sternly, suddenly, causing Beetle to flinch. No, Beetle. Don't apologize for my cruelty towards you. I was hurting, and in a way, I still am. But... It was never your fault. Being a father to my unruly pups has made me realize how much I would do for them, even if it meant risking my life, as Aunt did. I should have been watching out for you. I could have made us go back to the den sooner, but instead I failed to protect you, and Aunt had to put his life in danger to save both of us. Our pack was never strong, but it weakened the moment I split us apart. I know I don't deserve your forgiveness, but please, don't continue to blame yourself for my mistakes. Beetle perks up, a flood of emotion and relief entering his always trusting gaze. Of course I forgive you. You're my brother, and I've always seen you as a member of my pack, even though I've barely known yours. Even though I have B and five healthy pups, I could never really stop feeling lonely. I brought my pups. They aren't too far from here. I wanted to make sure it was safe with you. Rival wolves attacked us, and I got so scared. Now Roach struggles to bite back his own emotion, afraid to be seen as weak in front of his brother, but he struggles to keep it trapped inside. Rival wolves attacked my rendezvous site as well. They killed one of my pups. I failed to protect her, as I failed to protect Ant and I failed to protect you. No, Beetle pleads, tilting his head with a desperate, sorrowful look in his gaze. You haven't failed me. You're here now, and that's all that matters. What happened to your pup wasn't your fault either, but I will grieve the loss with you as if it were my own. Roach exhales slowly, still not completely free of his guilt. But now his mind was working, a plan beginning to form. You may bring your pups here, he offered. Though we must maintain separate territories, this way we can claim more land and focus on raising our pups, in our own ways. 
If we both strengthen our borders with the rival packs while staying centered, we will both have greater defense, and our pups can romp together without the fear of an ambush from another pack. He brings his focus back to his brother, and is surprised to see joy spread across the dark wolf's face, something he hadn't seen since they were young pups exploring the grasses with an intense curiosity, still innocently oblivious to the dangers of the world. And for once, since the attack that split his family apart, he felt it too.